Hey everybody, this is Amanda Bonanza with Transition Tuesday, and uh, I'm just here to say that this is a placeholder. I'm not going to put out a show this week. Too much happened. I had a show ready. Uh, it's no longer relevant, and the show that I need to put out is being delayed because it's long, and there is a whole lot going on. The community is uh, screaming and shouting and frantically going nuts and we need to all deal with it and i've got a million things to deal with uh, lilith has a million things to deal with emily has a million things to deal with and we're all kind of scrambling trying to figure out what we're doing where we're going how we're going to do all of that stuff uh we're all in survival mode here and uh it's really scary and i'm terrified uh my current plan is i have a, a an online friend that i've never met in real life in Toronto that offered me a place to stay and I'm, I'm just going to go there and hope for the best. I don't have any money. I don't know anybody in Toronto. I've never been to Toronto. I don't know much at all about uh, the Canadian system of government or anything like that or immigration. I don't know how I'm going to get a job. I don't know how I'm going to be legally allowed to stay. I'm just going. I, I want to say, I think if you're transgender in the United States, if you're not considering leaving I think you're making a big mistake. I think staying here is very, very, very dangerous. Uh, places like California and New York and Washington and possibly Oregon, Colorado, and maybe uh, parts of New England like Massachusetts might be safe for a little while. And and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it won't go as bad as I think it's going to go, but I, I really don't think I'm wrong about this. I think it's going to go a lot worse than everyone's talking about. You hear a lot of talk on the news about, uh, oh, we're fighting back. Oh, we've got lawyers. We're not going to let Trump get away with this. But I think what they're not realizing is the people that were fighting against this haven't done anything. There were multiple opportunities to stop this before it happened. And they didn't do any of them. Not, nothing, no action was taken. And now the idea that they're all of a sudden going to be bolstered and strong when they have no power at all. Like you have the Republican Party with control of the Supreme Court, the presidency and the executive branch, the House, the Senate, and a mandate of the people. Add to that, Donald Trump has absolute immunity to do whatever he wants without any form of prosecution. And that's it. It's game over here. Like, I think the idea of peaceful resistance is, I, I always thought it was preposterous. It's even more preposterous now. It's like, that's not going to happen. No amount of lawyers are going to stop the steamroll that crypto fascism is going to be. If you're trans, if you're gay, if you're, if you're out, you're in real trouble. If you're in the closet, you can maybe stay in the closet and try and live in the closet here. It's still going to suck. It's still going to be hard. But if you're out, and especially if you're trans, like I really don't see how staying is going to work out. I know it's scary and hard to pack up everything. And you might say, well, I can't pack up everything. I don't have the money. It's like, if they take you and they make your existence illegal, which is on the books that they're planning to do, you're not going to have anything. They're going to take everything from you, including your life and your livelihood and your family. It's all going to go away. You're going to lose everything. There, there will be nothing. So your alternative, like to say that I don't have the money, you're right. You might not. It doesn't matter. Like when, when people were fleeing Nazi Germany in the 1930s, they, there were people that walked across the Swiss Alps to get to Switzerland. And that might be something you might have to do. You might have to walk across North Dakota or Montana in the snow. Like that might be a thing you have to do. It's, it's probably easier. Like realistically, you can get a passport. There's still time. You, if you have a real ID, you can legally go to Canada or Mexico. I looked at flights. A flight to Toronto from Los Angeles is as cheap as $75 one way. If you don't have $75, like you can get it. You can get $75 together. Buy a cheap flight and go. You have a family? Like, I mean, I mean, I understand. I understand this is a very difficult decision, but not acting is the worst decision you can make here. If you're going to stay, you have to be ready 
for violence on a level that this land has not seen since the Civil War. And, and it very well may be another Civil War. That's if there's any resistance to the violent, violent, oppressive Republican Party that is, and, and the crystal fascism movement that is in charge and literally wants to kill us. So I don't know. I, I don't have a solution. I'm not going to sugarcoat this and I'm not going to say it's okay because it is not. All those guys on TV and on the news talking about, oh, we're going to fight against this. We're going to do about this. They're, they don't know what they're talking about and they're not in the primary focus of their targets transgender people are we are the first targets of this regime and we're the ones that are the least equipped to do anything about this so really i don't see what the option is beyond fleeing if you think i'm being hyperbolic um you know that's your prerogative you can choose to listen to the the cishet white guys on the news that feel like they're gonna be fine because they probably will be but I, I don't think anyone's going to really do well in, in this country going forward. It's already shitty and it's about to get worse. All the bad things are about to be amplified, like grotesquely. Most of the good things are going to go away and a whole host of brand new, really, really bad things are going to come in and be in play. So if you were having a great time in America, then you're different than me because I haven't been. And so I'm taking my chances elsewhere in the world. And quite frankly, the idea that America is the greatest country or even one of the better ones is patently and demonstrably absurd. Like the United States of America up to this point for the last 20 years has been, you know, maybe in the top 30 at on a good day. But there's so many other better places to be that have better systems, that have better government, better cultures, more economic opportunity for everyone, not just trans people, but especially trans people. And there are so many places that are less hostile. There's top 20 lists, like just going over, like there's places in South America, Mexico's better. Like just go to Mexico, your money will go farther, whatever. If you have, if you're poor, just you know, your money will go farther in Mexico a little bit. Like, I mean, there's so many options. The, the thing that's for sure here is it's going to get way worse. Maybe it'll be bad somewhere else too, but at least there's a chance that it'll be better. I just don't see that here. So this is your call and the call that you have to make, but I strongly urge you to at least think about it and don't wait past this week to get your passport or your real ID together. Don't wait. Take those steps at least, at least have the opportunity to leave before the borders get closed. And they will. Good luck. We all need it.